Zach. Zach pulled out Cloud yeah, against Mata. I know. I know. Yeah. Um, we'll have to see, though. Probably will go to the Diddy Kong. Definitely oh. his uh, more confident character. For anyone that could hear that, that was the uh, UBC Esports versus UBC Anime Club uh, crew battle going on. I'm not sure how many people are on a side, but the uh, Esports team off to an early lead. Up by, uh, up by a stock right now. They had a, a two stock lead, but could not quite keep it. Is he making another? Oh. He's got like seven tags on this system. Does he? Wow. Oh, uh, he's got like a Sonic one. Something about Sonic. He's got this tag here. And uh, yeah, I think he had one that was just his name. He's got, he's got three. He's got three. All right. Not seven. <laughs> Not right. Gotta, gotta have a different setup for a certain thing, I guess. Uh, yeah, Zach, going we'll towards Diddy Kong. Yeah, we'll be seeing the Diddy. And, uh, or, uh, I don't know. Should going be going into this, we have um, Zach actually beat like the Islanders, I think, last time he went to the island. He oh, yeah, he went like second at that yeah, tournament. Yeah, he beat Masai, he beat Angus. Mm -hmm. We set the bracket against him, lost Angus, though. Nah, too bad. And Town and City, this is, oh, Jeez. This is a big comfort, comfort pick for um, Espeon. Yeah, he seems to go here a lot. Uh, it's definitely, he's definitely got a lot of bomb setups like he likes to do. Really good at uh, trapping the platforms, but have to see what he can do here against Zach. Is Diddy Kong is a, a character that can get in your face? Although we'll have to see how Diddy fares with um, the way Espeon uses projectiles. Mm -hmm. We saw Swagmaster like struggling with that a lot in their last set. That's what they just played. And dealing with a character that just has this many projectiles and this many fairly quick projectiles can be uh, an awkward thing to adjust to if you've never dealt with it once before in your life at this level. And Espeon's just really good at covering options. Like earlier in their set with um, Falk, with um, Swagmaster, he mm -hmm. actually threw a bomb and then covered his dash shields and then just grabbed him instead. Oh, jeez. And what do you do against that? Not much, apparently. Is it? I'd have to assume it resulted in a stock. Although Diddy Kong against Link is probably going to be better than Diddy Kong, or, you know, Falcon Link, because Diddy Kong can get around that forward air, definitely. Link's right. forward air being such a huge, and like it's really, it's really strong as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, potent move to say the least. Um, Zach though also has banana in hand. He's yeah. trying to. F oh boy, I thought he was just going to go for a forward air. Yeah. Notice he's rolling behind Espeon after like, every like every single time he shields a projectile. We'll see if Espeon adapts to that. Goes for the up Oh, no, he jabbed! Yeah. That's unfortunate, because that... We still have this conversion, yeah. Espeon there with a cutesy little trick. Held a bomb in shield, trying to look for it to bump Zack off, but... Yikes. Caught him with the forward air, yeah. Yeah, that forward air will bump him right off the stage. Puts himself up a stop. We are in top eight right now, so uh, Zach does have three games. Uh, these two have to win three games to be able to move on. Yeah, they have more time to adapt. Set. More time to adapt for sure. Mm -hmm. See if that can uh, benefit Zach to be able to learn what you're supposed to do against Link. An awkward character, again, if you haven't faced him at a, a solid level. Oh, hey, there we go. All right, down tilt to Forder is going to seal it for Zach. And that will he does get have 60% on him. But yeah, two grab conversions should be enough for him to even it out. Huh, I've noticed he was, he's able to get the second backer out of the up throw into backer and like the other backer. Yeah, I did notice that too. Um, I'm not sure if Link fast felt could maybe have something to do with that. He falls. I think quite it's likely quickly. like the weight of Link is just a bit different. Okay. And Zach is spacing it properly. Yeah, again, Link not a character you see. Uh, yeah, and you can see here, like, Espeon had Zack in his zone of control where he's just throwing out projectiles, Zack doesn't know what to do. Gets off stage, gets him off stage though. Once he gets him off stage, he just fades over to his banana, doesn't even try and apply aggression. Yeah, he, he failed on get grabbing it the first time, he did a jump, like, air dodge. Yeah. So he missed out on punishing Whoa. Espeon's what? position. Oh uh, no, that kept lingering. Yeah, the up air is like a strong nice. lingering hitbox. It certainly is. As Catches it, a lot of characters' air dodges. Yeah, it's, um... Air dodges only last, last for about 25 frames, and I'm yeah. pretty sure that thing's upwards of, Jesus, upwards of 30, and that looks like uh, Ryan will be coming back, which probably means I get kicked off commentary. Yeah, he's looking over at me. Sounds like I'm going to, or looks like I'm going to get kicked off. Oh, nice talking to you. Um, but yeah, we'll bring ourselves into game two on Smashville. Um, oh. 
So you want this? Okay. Alright. Starting in Smashville. I wonder what Espeon banned to let Zach get Smashville. But we'll see what Zach can do with it as well. Giving you a summary of last game. Espeon won. Yeah. Got it with a lingering up air. Okay. Town yeah, City. And as I said earlier, it's kind of surprising Zach was given the chance to go Smashville. Yeah. And since it's not a stage Espeon likes. Oh, and you really? Have, I yeah. Know that. You have to you have to wonder like what he banned over that, right? Oh, dash attacks. Well, he only gets the first hit. Unfortunate for Zach right now, but we'll see if he can bring the percentages back in his favor. Yeah, Zach's just getting walled out with his right now. And right the there. Yeah, that was a nice conversion. That's what he needs. That's one of the few things Zach, I feel, does almost perfectly. What? Conversions? The down tilt, um, the down smash. Yeah. Not, not conversions. He doesn't get those perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> with his signature banana down tilt dash attack. Uh, Alright. Up throw. Guess, guess the... Yeah. Um, the free grab off of Banana on Shield at that range. Zach has to be scared right now because he yeah. is facing Link vertically yeah. a lot. And Link has that up air, which he did seal it out with last game. Does not get the down air punish. Ooh, right. that might be it. Nope. I like how Espeon always uses the up B to sort of like catch your recovery. As, a, as an edge guarding tool yeah, exactly. after he does something else. Oh, but the bomb saves him. I think Espeon knew that. That's why he went for that. Ooh. A bit too high of rage to get that. Wow, that Ooh, was Zach. That was really bold coming from Zach. Yeah. There? No, I don't. Like it, it did not assist him. Okay. I don't think so. Ooh, did not account for Espeon tripping on the banana. Yeah, I've noticed that in Espeon's down spot, he goes three down grass. tilts. Three down tilts. Walk away. Nair is gonna. Wow. Yeah, Nair weird. kills. I mean, sure. Why not? He was at super high. Ooh, baited out the grapple. Does not punish it though. Dash yeah, back a, a bit too far. Good power to Zach. Yeah. Two, one, two, Ooh, didn't punish the grapple. I think he's a bit scared and just like weaving back when he sees it come up. Yeah. <laughs> Slices through the banana. Yep. Nice up tilt. Good jump from Zach, knowing that was coming. Ooh, almost gets caught with him to that up yeah. smash. Punishes almost. it with a monkey flip kick though. Zach has stage control now. I think Espeon might die if he gets an F smash. I didn't know the peanut popcorn could pop bombs. That's that's good to know for this matchup, I feel. Yeah. Something Link can't do in this matchup, unfortunately for him, is like block Diddy Kong's shield with his um I mean Diddy Kong's banana with his shield. Yeah. At least not in the same way like two Link can do it. Oh yeah. Zach right has now. him on the ledge. Yeah. Espeon manages to get back into center stage though, but he's pushed back immediately after. Yeah. There. Zach. Oh. Wow, I've never seen Zach go for that option. The bomb blows up in his shield. Ooh, this is and banana dash attack! Wow. What a, what a conversion. That was pretty nutty. That was clutch. He was on the ledge for like 30 seconds. Yeah. There, he was still just, applying like yeah. pressure from the ledge yeah, though. Yeah, exactly. Constantly was... spacing back with yep. boomerangs and bombs. Zach and here we see, with the new rule set, Zach being coached by Captain L. Yep. I like that addition. Yeah, you, you have to uh, declare your coach, but once you do, you can call for a 30 second coaching once per set. I feel like this has been more than 30 seconds, but... Hey, you're the TO, man. You have to call them out. <laughs> hey, I'm just a commentator. And a TO. All right. And speaking of TOs, the other TO is, is on his phone, as always. Not, not helping out. But Zach runs it back to Smashville. I wonder what he's going to do differently. Because he was playing a lot better as the game progressed. But 
unfortunately. Just that last moment. Yeah. Giving Espeon control of the banner. I wonder if he's going to be more careful with it now. Bombs flying everywhere. Good. Zach's edge counters are super good on that. Alright, Banana to down throw Nair. Pops up a little with his um, bomb. <laughs> That's something I see like Espeon to go for a lot. It's like that he throws a bomb downwards, gets the nair, or maybe yeah. even the forward air. If he's like confident enough in nice. it. Nice. Yeah, Zach knows how to walk around and get the banana and get the down smash. Right. Getting that pressure in, but what he needs right now is that kill. Yeah, Zach really needs a kill. Right, throws him. Because Zach keeps getting safe control, but then it's hard for him to capitalize on it. Or tried crossing him up with the back air, but it didn't even touch Zach's shield. Yeah, I think that just needs to be a bit more patient. Yeah. Because Espeon... He doesn't know what to do right now. Espeon yeah. has him in that zone of control. Exactly. Up air. Oh, gonna go through his air dodge. The, the delayed hit almost yeah. kills him. I'm surprised that didn't kill, actually. Yeah, I'm surprised too. It's Solid DI from range. Zach, yeah. Alright, fast fell air dodge through the banana, but... Oh, I think I feel like kill him. I think you want that, like, more percent. That little bit... Yeah. More into it. But he probably knows his percent. Oh, that was a little banana throw. Zach needs to... If yeah. Zach can throw, throw the banana out to hit the down air, it'll mess up his timing. And Zach can punish him off the There's a down throw bomb. It's in there. Almost gets the upper out of that. Ooh, Zach. That should be it. And. He had to throw the banana since he yeah, couldn't like, he do a smash too. out of that. Yeah, but. Uh, did not get the best conversion guess, out of yeah. it. Ooh, almost gets a second hit of that forward yeah. air. That was very lucky for oh, Zach. An up air would have done it for yeah. Espeon. And Zach just throwing it out. So yeah. I can't mess out of that. That's too high. Jason talking to him, I feel like that's detrimental, but Zach needs to focus. <laughs> oh, grabs the bomb instead of his banana. That was a bit silly for Zach. He has to end it before too much percentage added on. Yeah, I can't let Espeon get that extra percentage, giving the advantage in next stock as well. Oh, but Very you just, you just, see, Z you just see Zach struggling to go in. Yeah. Play he's playing Espeon's game now. Although he, is, he does have control so now. Quickly. Yeah, did not catch yeah, a two that's, frame. That's a desperation up smash. It's a bit harder to catch that two frame. Oh no. Try going for the back air. Give the drop down. Link can kill him with anything in this percent. Definitely. Dash that could do it, I believe. Forward and Link's do it. bomb keeps him here because of definitely it's so quickly. 200 percent I think Zach just needs to grab now, but uh, Espion's not gonna give it to him. Yeah, this is tough. He's doing a really good job spacing those forwarders and just like being really threatening to Zach. Oh, and the boomerang. That's how Boomerang kind of assistance. I think he would have died anyways because he's at 200%. But that was center stage though, yeah. so you don't, you don't really know. After us over there. I think Zach went for the down air there. A bit peculiar. Ooh, read the air dodge on that. Kicks in. Yeah. That's something Espeon Master is really good at as well, just like reversing. Oh, and that's it, the fair. Yeah. Yep. And just reverse forward tilt. 3 0 for Espeon well, Master. Well played by Espeon. All of those matches were pretty close, but Zach yeah. just gonna clutch it out. Next up, we have Cantrip and Captain.